We're in the ambulance. I'm scared, but I'm staying strong. I got this. That was Marin Hollis in an ambulance on the way to the hospital after her complicated pregnancy turned life-threatening. Soon after Marin first found out she was pregnant, doctors told her she had a dangerous ectopic pregnancy implanted in her scar tissue from a previous C-section. Her doctors recommended she consider an abortion to protect her health. But by the time she made her decision, abortion had just become a felony in Tennessee without any clear exceptions for a pregnant patient's life or health. Any doctor who terminated any pregnancy could be charged with a crime punishable by up to 15 years in prison. So when Marin's doctors asked specialists to help with her operation, they weren't willing to take the risk. Marin was also at risk of losing her bladder, her uterus, and her life. Marin didn't have the resources to travel out of state for an abortion, so she continued the pregnancy. But at any moment, her pregnancy could rupture her uterus, and her placenta threatened to eventually invade her organs like a tumor. Even with the best medical care, some patients bleed out in less than 10 minutes on the operating table. Getting really big, really fast. Um, this is as raw as it gets. Marin had just had a baby months earlier. She constantly worried about what her husband and young daughter would do if she died. Then, one night, when she was 26 weeks pregnant, she began bleeding so heavily her husband slipped in her blood. She rushed to the hospital and doctors prepared her for an emergency C-section. Beating the odds, Marin survived her surgery. So did her baby, Elena, who weighed only one pound and 15 ounces. She was born so early, no one knew yet if she would survive. To save their lives, doctors had to remove Marin's uterus. Now she can never have children again. This was horrible. But we made it, baby girl. We did it. You're out, safe and sound. So happy that you're here. One of Marin's doctors spoke with ProPublica about the experience of delivering Marin's baby. People like Mehran who survive and their babies survive, it is not always a win because we still have a mom who's very sick, a mom who's lost her fertility and has lost her uterus, and we have a baby who can be born very premature and has complications that can take years to get past. After two and a half months in intensive care, Elena was released from the hospital in February. But since then, she's had to return several times for difficulty breathing and has been on oxygen and a feeding tube. Mayrin wants people to know that she's glad her daughter is here, but having her this way wasn't her choice. Maybe if my story just touches one person, one family, one senator, <coughs> one right person, we can make a difference. Marin's hospital declined to comment, but her doctors spoke to ProPublica in their personal capacity with her permission in order to give the public a rare view into the dangers created when lawmakers interfere with high-stakes medical care. In April, Tennessee's law was slightly modified to allow physicians to perform abortions in limited medical emergencies, but doctors say it doesn't go far enough to cover the range of dangerous health issues that pregnant patients can face. For the full investigation, click on the link in our bio.